this is mildly exciting. I don't know, I don't know why I find it exciting, but I just took a whole pile of pregnancy tests. Now I've got to go take a rat test. So hopefully my positive streak doesn't keep going. As at this current point in time, uh, my doula, slant best friend, is, okay, she's not positive, but her partner came home from FIFO positive and she's been around him. And now their little girl who's too young to get tested is having a fever and stuff. So it's like her partner and her baby that she's living with and isolating with are both positive, proven and assumed. And then she's meant to be going to get a PCR. She's been taking rat tests. Um, she's taken three, I think 24 hours apart, give or take. And she's still negative. So hopefully she's just like immune sort of doing a trial of waxing versus shaving so that's why I've got two completely different like levels of hair in my armpits um but the midwife is on her way she's about 45 minutes out from my 38 week appointment even though I'm 39 weeks in two days and she's just requested I do a wrap test before she arrives so I'm gonna go do that all right this is an oral fluid one I've never done this so let's read the instructions Deeply cough three to five times. Place the tube into the tube holder. Add the entire disposable buffer. Also, why is it like, it's like, it's like one, two, three, four. <laughs> like why? Um, so place the tube into the, I'm gonna get this out so I know what I'm looking at. Test tube holder somewhere. I don't know where that is. I'm assuming this is the buffer. No wonder they have problems with error. Where's this holder thing? Ah, oh, right there, obviously. That was stupid. Okay, apologies. Test tube holder. <laughs> Add entire disposable buffer. This or this, what? Like the directions are very confusing. So it says either put the stopper in or flip the stopper over and squeeze 10 times. But I'm assuming that's after this step. So fit the funnel onto the tube, cough 10, three to five times <coughs> <coughs> oh okay that made me feel like coughing more spit oral fluid um should just reach the scale line why do i feel like i did this in the wrong order i don't have enough oral fluid for this remove the funnel and then okay so i think it's meant to be read that way which i didn't do which is great um <laughs> oh and then this thing doesn't even stay on. Great. Okay. Squeeze. Oh, and it's all coming out the top. What the hell is this? <laughs> it's literally coming out the top. Ugh. I didn't think this would be so bloody hard. I thought it would just be like a swab. So then two drops out the dropper, which is hard considering the dropper doesn't stay in there, into here. Two. Like, it just doesn't stay on. It just literally pops straight out, so that's great. Well, I've got a control line coming up. What's terrifying is I can kind of see, like, a very faint indent line <laughs> where the test line is. Oh, but it's fading now. It's only been two minutes, so it might just be the stuff traveling across. So let's just walk away and give it a bit. Oh, okay. Haven't looked. This is like a pregnancy test. All right, I think I think I'm good. But also, like most people would just be like, "Oh yeah, that's negative. Chuck it away." But I'm gonna sit here and stare at it because that is what you do. There's like a hair right in the test window. Yeah, nah. I think I'm all clear. All's good. I've showered. I showered in that 15 minutes uh, with Hayden yelling at me because his motorbike didn't fit in the bathroom. Um, now I've got to go put the dog outside, clean up this mess, and then the midwife is going to be here. I also need to pack a bag for Hayden to go to kindy right after. Not actually go to kindy, but we're going to go check out a possible kindy for him. So, I need to pack. Goodbye. I hope you... Oh, apparently I lent somewhere. hope you guys aren't getting any of the aircon blast. Um, oh, I'm getting kicked. Midwife came, 
everything was good. Uh, it was very breezy, very quick. She, Bub is happily wriggling around in there. Um, I didn't actually ask what the heartbeat was, but just based off like experience, it was quite high actually because he was having a big wriggle. It was about 150 and then it dropped back into the 146-ish range when he calmed down. But we were both just watching Hayden's reaction. Ah, uh, whoo, whoo, pain. Um, mm. <laughs> Bub's bum is over here. <laughs> and then his back curves around here. And his head is quite engaged, apparently. Um, and all his limbs are sticking out this way, sort of thing. So he's quite large, quite curled up in there. Um, my actual... My actual uterus is measuring at about 38 weeks, which is pretty much bang on. Um, I'm 39, I'm 38 weeks, five days, but at the same time, judging off my dates, I am exactly 38 weeks. So belly's measuring perfectly. Uh, Bub's head down, engaged. I did ask about stretch and sweeps and like what happens if I go overdue, stuff like that. Apparently I can ask for a stretch and sweep from my 40 week appointment onwards, um, which is like, just over a week, which is kind of crazy, uh, which I might do. I don't really think stretch and sweeps like magically put you into labor, but at the same time, it might do something to help things along. So I'm just gonna get it done, because why not? Um, I mean, there are reasons why not. For example, like false labor and getting your hopes up for no reason and, if it doesn't work or causes any stress to baby or increases risk of infection like there's a lot of reasons why not but for me I'm happy to get it done and I think I might ask for it if I get to my 40 week appointment basically just waiting around and we have rent inspection so I've been cleaning like crazy we also went and saw a kindy for Hayden and decided on a kindy put in our expression of interest we were gonna literally enroll then and there but A, apparently they don't have super high numbers, which means we should be good getting in. We've also the first person to put in an expression of interest, so that should be in our favor. And also they're about to ch change from the paper forms you have to print out and write on to putting it all online. With all the COVID cases at the moment, that's been delayed, bringing in all the COVID protocols, but they're, going to do that before July which is the like when the enrollments get processed so we're just going to wait a couple of weeks and hopefully that'll be out and we can just do it all online much quicker easier it's exciting I'm also super just like biased towards mum's kindy because I see how much effort her and um the teacher put into that kindy like it's a nice kindy for a very low budget gonna have to get over it um the kinder we took Hayden to is very nice set out very similar way there's a couple of differences but nothing nothing bad um they do have a smaller yard but saying that they've got more playground um and apparently there's also more there's like a bike track or something for the little bikes and carts out the back that I didn't get to see and they're also surrounded by a little patch of bushland and apparently they go tadpoling and bushwalking and make fake binoculars to look at all the birds and all that sort of stuff so they have access to more than just the yard and yeah Hayden liked it he ran off and started playing so and didn't want to leave so yeah we have a kindy and it's just crazy that that's even like he starts school next year he's not even three yet and it's just like mind-boggling that's all done now I need to go to the toilet mm. This would look like a contraction pain to most people. No, it's just gas. Maybe. Mm. I get this this pain, which is equal to some contractions. Even when I'm not pregnant, it's a gas constipation pain. Problem is when I'm pregnant, there's a lot less room there, so it happens a lot more easily. And then also, I think it's. Um, Oh, what's that nerve that runs down your legs? But basically, I'm pretty sure most of my intestines go on this side. What's the matter, darling? It's all right. Um, and basically, when I get gas pain here, it pushes above this way, it sits on a nerve, and I get cramps in my leg. Goodbye.